A wave trap, or line trap, is a device used to prevent high-frequency signals from entering power substations and other sensitive locations. A wave trap also known as a line trap is a critical component in power transmission systems, specifically designed to facilitate power line carrier communication PLCC. In high-voltage transmission lines, apart from the usual 50 or 60 Hz power frequencies, high-frequency signals ranging from 30 kHz to 500 kHz are superimposed onto the power lines. These high-frequency signals are used for various purposes, such as teleprotection, remote control, data transmission, and relaying information between substations. The wave trap acts as a band stop filter or a high-frequency choke. It blocks the high-frequency communication signals from passing into unwanted parts of the network e.g., transformer windings, bus bars, or adjacent lines, where they could get dissipated or cause disturbances. That's why we use wave traps. To block high-frequency signals, we need opposition in the form of impedance, not resistance, in AC circuits. There are two types of opposition in frequency, inductive reactance XL, frequency F is directly proportional to XL. As frequency increases, inductive reactance and opposition also increase. Capacitive reactance XC frequency F is inversely proportional to XC. As frequency increases, capacitive reactance and opposition decrease. Capacitive reactance is used to block high frequencies. To achieve this, we add a large inductive reactance to the transmission line using a main coil, which carries any rated current according to the substation. Components of wave trap line trap, main coil, surge arrestor, tuning coil, terminal pad, corona ring, bird barrier, lifting lug. Installation methods, mounted directly on the gantry of the tower. Mounted on a DD-supported insulator along with the structure. Mounted directly on a capacitive voltage transformer CVT. Here's how it works in greater detail, blocking high-frequency signals. The wave trap has inductance and capacitance designed to offer high impedance to the high-frequency signals. This prevents them from passing through to other parts of the system and ensures that the communication signals are confined within the transmission line section where they are intended. Allowing power frequency signals, simultaneously, the wave trap offers very low impedance to the normal power frequency 50 or 60 Hz, allowing the transmission of electrical power without any disturbance or interruption. Construction, wave traps are usually air core inductors that are tuned for the specific frequency band of communication signals they need to block. They may also include capacitors and resistors to further fine-tune their frequency response and provide damping, minimizing the risk of resonance or high-frequency interference. Applications, apart from carrier communication, wave traps are essential in protection systems. They help relay fault information between substations, ensuring quick response and tripping of circuit breakers in case of a fault. In summary, wave traps ensure that critical communication signals used for grid management and fault protection can travel undisturbed along transmission lines, without being lost to nearby equipment or other lines. This is essential for the safe and efficient operation of the power grid.